Okay, good evening class. Uh, employment income, yeah, topic 3. So we have done up to um, section 13.1c in the class this morning, am I right? So a short recap what your uh, first group, a fantastic group, yeah, their performance, even a dry topic, they make it so interesting, jovial. That's what I want. If you want a lecture, I'm here for you to lecture you, okay? You may be asking why, why madam, you haven't teach me why you want us to present. Because when you read, you know which part you don't understand. I never scolded you because you don't know to explain. Have I? No, I never. Explain whatever you know, whatever you don't understand or you didn't present, I will assist. Understand? The motive or the objective of doing so is because... I want you to read before coming to class. Okay? Without presentation, mark my word, you won't read. Because that's the nature of student. Okay? I've been a student before I know. Okay? So, all these are the main topic. Okay? Okay. I will just go through. If you are not sure any of the income that you need me to further elaborate is stop me okay can salary and wages what we should do we should take a gross or net figure gross, gross. gross. how do we gross it um, minus the EPF yeah. or add back the yeah, add back, yeah. add back the EPF yeah. the employee portion yeah okay bonus so usually they will give for two periods, am I right? So we only take a portion that related to our calendar year, not financial year. Okay? Sections uh, still in 13.1a, allowances. Okay? Gratuity. Okay? There are three circumstances where the gratuity is fully exempted. Can you give me the three? In health. Samo? Age is the retirement age of 55 and service in the same group of company for 10 years. Am I right? And if it's not 55, 50 to 55 still can. Okay? But with the agreement, written agreement or contract of employment. Okay? Or uh, employ, uh, government employees. Okay? So what you will do if it didn't fall under this criteria, exemption, fully exemption criteria, how much is the exemption given? Current, current exemption how much? How much is the current exemption for gratuity? Is there any exemption for gratuity? Yes, very good. How much? 1,000 for each completed year. Still remember? Yes. Yeah, previously we saw for those uh, income which is fully exempted, gratuity which is exempted, not taxable. The meaning exempted means we won't include in the calculation. Okay? So, if let's say didn't fulfill those three criteria, exemption criteria, you can give them an exemption of 1,000 for a completed year. Okay? completed year of service in the company. Understand? Okay. Okay. This is about a exemption. We done this, isn't it? Have I covered this with you? No. No. This is news, right? Is it leave passage? Okay, what is leave passage? Edika, can you read from the slide? This is what I've taken from the rulings here. You need to know the rulings. Please don't say, why, madam, your slide is so boring. Please, this is the words from public rulings. You need to know. I will further explain in short for you. Okay? This is how written in the ruling. Since you don't have rulings with you now, so we use the slide, okay? I've copy-paste from the rulings. Can, can you read? 
benefit in the form of leave passage is not accessible as an employment income under the following conditions. Okay, there are conditions where the leave passage is not taxable, which means exempt. What is leave passage? Uh, going holiday. Very simple. Going holiday. Okay? So much leave passage for travel within nation that is seen three times in any calendar year. Okay, which means uh, leave passage going holiday for travel within Malaysia not exceeding three times in a year. If three times you go overseas, I'm sorry, for holiday, it is not acceptable. Okay, another one. Uh, Roman one leave passage for travel between Malaysia and any place outside Malaysia in any calendar year limited to a maximum value of 3,000 ringgit. Okay, which means three local and one overseas holiday. Okay, it is given for the employee and also immediate family members. Okay, the leave passage benefit, however, is confined only to the employee and members of his immediate family. We look to the example for further clarification. Example 1, Inchi Abdullah is entitled to a yearly leave passage benefit amounting to 5,000 under the terms of his employment agreement. In January 2003, he travelled to Mauritius and the total leave passage cost claimed by Inchi Abdullah was 2,500. Okay, so you think it's a taxable income or exempted? Don't look okay. there. Of course, the answer is there. Overseas, isn't it? So, one time, overseas, is allowable or not? Yes. yes. How much is the restriction? Maximum? 3,000. Okay, he only spent 2,500, which means he's not taxable. Okay, that income is not taxable. Okay, Inchi Abdullah is exempted from tax on leave passage benefit amounting to 2,500 in the year 2003 for the year assessment 2003. Iqmal, understand? Sure? Sure? If, let's say, another question I'm going to give you. Inchi Abdullah is going to... Congo. You know where is Congo? Uh, okay, never mind. He's going to China. Okay? In the same year. And he spent only 1,500. Do you think the second leave passage is allowed? Or tax exempted? The benefit given? Be confident. No, very good answer. Three plus one. Three local, one overseas. Okay, you see the answer. Leave passage benefit accessible as an employment income. When does this leave passage will be assessed under employment income? Leave passage benefit received by an employee from the employer, which does not fall within paragraph eight above, is subject to tax under 13.1 B of the Act as gains or profit from an employment. Example 4, using the above example 1, Inchi Abdullah and his wife went on another overseas holiday trip in the year 2003 to Indonesia for which he made a claim for leave passage cost 1500 from his employer which means once he went for holiday he come back and he claim you know that's how leave passage you'll be wondering how how does they claim how do they make the claim they went for holiday come back and they will claim okay leave passage basically it is your ticket fare ticket fee okay inche abdullah is accessible to tax on overseas leave passage cost amounting 1,500 in the year 2003 for the year assessment 2003. Note, if there are two or more overseas leave passage, just now we have, I give another condition for you, isn't it? Ikman, he went, first he went to, he went Mauritius. Now he's going to, he went to Indonesia. 
SNA Indonesia. So note if there are two or more overseas leave passage in the same year, then the higher cost of the leave passage is exempted. Okay, limited to a maximum value of three thousand. Maksudnya, sekiranya dia ada dua overseas trip, okay, satu seribu lagi satu dua ribu, yang mana kamu akan ambil? What's your name, dear? Huh? Auni, yes, Auni. One is thousand, another one is two thousand. Which one you will take? Can you please read quietly the blue highlighted words? The words you can see. No, no. The highest cost of the leave passage is exempted. Exempted to the maximum value of three thousand. So, which one you will take? For exemption, two thousand. Okay, we're talking about the exemption. Maybe you talk about the excess amount. Okay, so I was asking about the exemption. Of course, we want to get the exemption, the higher amount. Am I right? Yes. And we tax the lower amount. Yes. Okay. Let's <coughs> passage. Okay. Can. Okay. B I K benefit in kind. Okay. Gross income from an employment includes an amount equal to the value of the use or enjoyment of the employee of any benefit provided by the employer to employee, which means other than monetary benefit. Okay? Tadi saya cakap apa? Benefit bukan adalah manfaat. Betul? Okay. Eh? BIK is a benefit not convertible into money, even though it has monetary value. Apa maksud dia? Ideal. What is ideal? Yeah, ideal, right? Yes. What's the meaning of that? Not convertible into money even though it has monetary value. Not convertible into money even though it has monetary value. Boleh ke tak boleh? Tak boleh. Section 13.1a Perkuzi Even though Boleh tukar ke tak boleh tukar? Perkuzi Contoh PQZ adalah share option Can change or not? It is manfaat juga, betul? Share option is a benefit But can we change the share option into cash? Yes Think, think twice Can change the share option into money or not? You think, then only you answer No rushing, I'm not going to close the door Who say can change the share option into money? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Your finger also can. Your pinky also can. Okay, I can see a pinky there. A few pinkies there. Okay, please. Hello, you exercise the share option, right? Market value minus with the option price times with the unit. Ah, value. Can. Betul tak? Baru dia masuk di bawah 13.1A, betul? Yes. Hey girls and boys, we just finished this morning. Sure option is convertible into money. That's why it is taxable under 13.1A. Anything that you can't convert into money goes to B. Understand? Okay. Not convertible into money means that these benefits cannot be sold or exchanged for cash. How do you want to exchange your mate? Can you exchange your mate? No. no. Can you exchange your driver? Can you sell your driver? Yes. <laughs> no. An example. You're getting the benefit but you can't sold or exchange to money. Okay? Remember that. Okay? These are the BIK table. Annual value of BIK for kind petrol. Okay. Assumption that the company has given you a car worth 230,000. Okay. The cost of the car is 230,000. So, how much is the annual value? Car and also for fuel. 15, 15 sure? 9,000. 
9,000 and 2,100. 9,000 car and fuel is 2,100. Okay. 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 Okay, someone, yes. You know, you check how much is the cost of the vehicle they gave you. That is the first step. Can you see here? This is the cost. Okay. Now the company gave us 230,000, right? Where is it? Here. So how much is it taxable? Is it taxable 230,000? No. Okay. The company gave him car. So, they're going to tax him on the car value and also the petrol value. How much? 230 fall here. 9,000 car value. Fuel. Petrol value. Fuel. 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 Fix. Okay. Wow. It's given. Fix amount. In the exam, they will give you this table. As I say, like the timetable case, just go to. Don't have to memorize this. Just go. Okay? Ikmal Bole. Okay. I need to call him frequently or else he will, you know. It's a very cold room, I understand. Okay. So, you don't mind I'm calling you frequently? Oh, I say you don't mind. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, if let's say that the, the useful, I mean, not useful, yeah? The age of the car. Okay? Uh, it's more than five years. I mean, used car lah, isn't it? So, what should you do? Okay, which amount should you divide by two? Annual value you divide by two. I think I accidentally told for fuel as well. The fuel you don't divide by two. Only the annual value. Only the annual value. They divide by two, not the fuel. Okay, if the car's age is more than five years, you divide the annual value to two. In this case, 9,000 divided by two is 4,500. Okay, okay, example, Ahmad Fuad is a director of a company which provides him with a company car costing 170,000. I want someone to give answer. This answer is wrong. You don't see the answer, yeah? The car is 170,000. So how much is the car and fuel? 7, Within five years. Within five years. 7,000? Yes. For uh, car? Car. And for fuel? Is 1,800. Jocelyn, what amount you get? Correct? Same? Yep. Is she sleeping already? Sleeping idea. You can go and wash your face. Not feeling well. You can go back. You look sick. You can go back there if you are sick. I know you love me so much, I also love you so much, but you are sick, you better go back and rest. Okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> the car is 7,000, the fuel is 1,800. Okay, gentlemen, please off the account towards the end. Here is enough, isn't it? Okay? So, example car provided someone car provided more than five years what we have to do can you see same as the previous example the car is seven years old yeah like my daughter seven years old as per the BIK guideline using the prescribed value method car is 3500 divided by two okay Car provided less than 12 months. What do you have to do? You have to apportion. Ideal? What is the meaning of apportion? Huh. 
A portion. A portion. Di sini tak ada. You jangan cari di sana. A portion. Okay, I have a cake. I'm going to apportion it for me and for you. Pembahagian. Okay, apportion. So when the car is used less than a year, what do you do? You have to apportion. As I told you earlier, you see the monthly. How many months you use? It goes in the monthly basis. If you only use for four months, you can't tax him for a year. Okay? Car, you times, divide by two, because it's more than seven, uh, five years, divide by two, times three, nine over twelve. So, but guna hanya sembilan bulan. Jocelyn, stand up, do some exercise and sit. Okay? Fuel times nine over twelve. Understand? Boleh? Nak saya selalu panggil kamu? Panggil eh? Sebab boleh nampak. <laughs> Example, no private use attached to car. Okay, no private use. Okay. Amir is a director of company. He is allowed to make use of a company car. Cost how much? 80,000 during office hours, but no, is not allowed to drive it home. Not allowed to drive it home. What is his gross income under section 31B? Tidak dibenarkan bawa balik rumah kereta tu eh? The benefit is exempted because he used fully for Awni, faham ke? Dia guna kereta tu hanya untuk kerja. Tak dibenarkan bawa balik rumah. Okay? Kirija. Yeah. Furniture and appliances. How many types of uh, furniture types we have? Three. Semi, another semi, and also fully. What's the name? What's the name? Farah, I'm going to call you also Farah. I won't blame you. It's very comfortable to sleep. Okay, Farah. The value of household furnishing and appliances provided by an employer in connection with an accommodation also provided by him to employee is taxable as BIK. Okay, if they give you aircon, okay, they give you curtain, okay, or fully furnished house, how much is the BIK? Uh, this is the one. 70 per month. If you add some more aircon, it go 140. If fully furnished until the kitchen utensils is 280 per month. Again, para again. Ya, Auni, Aidil, Ikmal. Very good. Okay. Again, it depends on how many months we use it. Okay. If the company give you only for seven months, then you times with seven. Jocelyn, what will happen if you share with your friends? Then you divide two with your friends. If you divide, if you share with three friends, divide with three, three friends. Common sense, right? Yes. Please, uh, don't do um, a silly mistake. We just take a BIK value and then times with the months and tax in. You see whether they have any friends sharing instrument or not. If share, you have to divide. Okay? I don't want to go to the example because I already explained to you. Other BIK, okay, how you can get other BIK, of course, in the book and also from the public ruling. Very, very important. Tomorrow when you come to class, please do a short note on BIK and perquisite. BIK perquisite allowances. Excuse me. Okay. Because there are so many allowances. Okay, some companies give different types of allowances and some companies does not. Okay, it will take a long time if you want to cover all the allowances. Okay, but we have covered major. Okay, what are the exempted benefit in kind? Medical, leave passage. Okay, if benefits relating to official duties. Okay, free food, free transportation, which means 
Bas warna biru tadi kan? Ha, bas kilang kan? Itu lah ya. Okay. Now we go to 13.1c. Again, 13.1c we have how many uh, uh, types of transactions? Four. Very good. First, Iqmal. Next is para. Jangan tengok buku takkan. Tak ingat dah. Of course, given to employee. Okay. How is the treatment? 30% from section 13.1a or defined value. What's the meaning of defined value? The value of the house. If they pay rental, the rental of the house. How? Okay. Now, I think I didn't need to help Ikma. If let's say they pay rental inclusive of furniture. Furniture is assessed under 13.1b. What should you do? Use logic, eh? Use logic. 13.1b, we tax furniture. What's your name? Nadim. No, Nadim, you can help him as well. What do you think? Yes, Nadim. The employer now giving rental as a... Um, living accommodations, okay, for 13.1c, to be assessed under 13.1c, is paying rental for the house, okay, it is assessed under 13.1c, am I right, living accommodation, okay, now, okay, the employer also pay furniture, inclusive of furniture in the 5,000, nothing inside there, eh? inside there, eh? what should you do, do you tax the 5,000 as a defined value, no, who said yes? Tak faham? Okay, saya guna bahasa Melayu, ya? Katakan majikan bayar sewa. Okay, untuk pekerja dia. Ia adalah living accommodation benefit, ya? Yeah? Tak, saya akan ambil masa yang lama untuk translate living accommodation. Okay? So, living accommodation benefit is assessed under section 13.1c. Agree? Now, they give 5,000 inclusive of furniture. Boleh tak saya ambil 5,000 tu sebagai defined value? No. Siapa kata boleh? Furniture kan kamu dah cukai dia. Pendapatan tu kan dah masuk di 13.1b. Kalau masuk 13.1c, bukan kedua kali dia kena cukai? Tolak. Tolak. Keluarkan nilai furniture. Hmm. Then baru you compare. Boleh? Am I clear? I'm covering every small things in the questions. I already go through all the questions. That's why I'm covering a bit by a bit with you. Okay? Okay, as you say just now, ICMA, 30% compared with 13.1a. Okay? Or the defined value first. Second, For non-service director, director still can be assessed in the first circumstances. But if they are non-service director, Nadim, apa tu maksud non-service director? Maybe they didn't go to the office or company lah. It's a name, non-service. Nama pun dah cakap dah, dia tak berikan service. But he's a director. He's, he has contributed some money to the company and all shares. Okay? Boleh? Okay. So, non-service director, do we need to compare? No, no comparison. No comparison. No. Then straight away take? Define. Define value. Okay, good. Second. Third one is? Hotel for normal employees, yeah? So, 3% from 31A. How about for non-service director if we give him a... Hotel. <laughs> the value of the actual rate. Actual rate. Okay. 13.1D. So far okay. A, B, C okay. Okay. How about reimbursement? Which section? Para. What is reimbursement? Siapa tahu reimbursement tu apa? Saya bagi coklat. 
Penalty mana? Kategori mana? Markas percuma sepuluh nak? Nak tapi bagi jawapan dulu. Okay, reimbursement means. Okay, I'm the employer. I'm the employee in your company, Afis. You are my boss. Okay, I go overseas. I spend some money for my customer. I'm in overseas now, you know. I, I spend for my customer first. I come back. I claim from him. He give me back my money. That is, it's not related with this year. One A. He give back my money. Convertible to money, isn't it? I spend first, then he give me back. Reimbursement. Can? Siapa tak faham angkat jari? Fantastic. Jatin 1D. Receipts from unapproved pension and provident fund. Okay. Please, my dear student, EPF is approved fund. Okay. Please. EPF adalah approved fund, yeah? Unapproved means like in separate companies or organization, they may have a retirement plan. Okay, they may have a retirement plan, special. It's not EPF. Means you can, let's say, dump in your money, 10,000. Okay, your employer may need money. So you dump in 10,000. They give you certain amount of money, like another 10,000. And they also pay you interest. Okay? That is called unapproved provident fund. When you retire, upon retirement, they will give all the sum to you. Okay? Not every company has this. Okay? Only certain companies. Depends to their policy. And it is taxable under 131D. Okay? The sum normally be drawn at the time of retirement or resignation of such employee. Okay, in that circumstances, employer portion plus the interest or bonus paid by the employer is taxable. I'm going to repeat again. Employer portion of money plus the interest or bonus paid by the employer is taxable. Not the employee portion because it is capital in nature. Faham ke? Tadi siapa bayar duit? Pekerja dan majikan. Betul? So, portion majikan sahaja dikenakan cukai. Dimasukkan sebagai pendapatan bercukai. Dan interest yang dia dapat. Okay? The accessible amount is restricted to employer's contribution and interest accrued from the total sum. Okay? Boleh? When a withdrawal is made from government retirement scheme, EPF, the total sum is a capital receipt, hence not subject to tax. Please, yeah, sometimes the question may twist you. Okay, be careful. Okay, so example, employer contribution, employee interest portion. So how much is taxable? Taxable income? 1,600. Employer portion thousand five plus interest portion yeah, so it is thousand six hundred. Thirteen one e compensation for loss of employment. Any amount received by the employee, whether before or after his employment ceases, by the way of compensation for loss of employment, including any amount in respect of. Okay, in your book is a bit easier. Is there any any uh, information given? Thirteen one e. Ada? Thirteen one e. Compensation for loss of income. I'm, I don't want uh, the exemption. I only want what they uh, written in the book. Exemption, any amount of 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 any amount
Okay. Compensation for loss of employment, any amount received by the employee, same year, whether or after his employment ceased by the way of compensation for loss of income, employment. What's the meaning of um, compensation? Pampasan, eh. Pampasan kerana kehilangan kerja. Apa contoh, ya? Contohnya adalah ada tiga di bawah tu. Ada ke? Exemption ada? First is an exemption is given if individual receive compensation for loss of employment due to ill health. Okay. Second, an exemption of 10,000 is given. Okay. 10,000, yeah? Is given for each completed years of service with same employer in respect of an individual who sees employment on or after 1st July 2008. Prior to that date, the exemption sum was 6,000. The one you are looking in front is 6,000 prior to prior to 2000. Sebelum. Prior maksudnya sebelum. Selepas 2008, kita bagi berapa pelepasan? Exemption. Pengecualian pendapatan 10,000. Apa maksudnya adalah? Tengok depan ya. If you are a non-service director of control company, okay, if you are a non-service director of control company, you won't get any exemption. Why? You say yes. Okay? And if it's yes, you won't get any exemption. No. <laughs> Sukalah dia. Okay. So what I'm going to tell you is why. This why. Why? Mail exemption if you are a service director. If you are not service director, non-service director, okay, and your resignation is due to, termination is due to ill health, you get 100% exemption. If others, you get 10,000 for completed years. 10,000 is after 2008. 6,000 is before 2000 prior year okay so what are the other circumstances not this slide yeah what are the other circumstances that uh, require you to retire early have you heard about voluntary retirement no no what's the time now Okay, I'm going to finish in five minutes time, yeah? Okay, uh, this happens usually uh, where, whereby they have a companies, you know. I've seen this mostly in uh, Penang. Penang, they have a lot of companies. Kelang banyak kan di Penang? Betul. Berikan satu nama. Other than that, Motorola. Ah. Can Motorola? Yeah, it's ah. a company, right? That uh, do a chip board, lah, macam macam kan CPU and so on. Okay. So now the company say hello, Edika. My company is not doing so good. I'm going to close down my company. As a manager, I'm offering you VSS, early retirement. Okay. I'm going to give you hundred thousand. Oh, let's say manager mana cukup hundred thousand. 300,000, you better retire now. You take VSS, volunteer resignation. So how much you will get? 300,000, isn't it? Yeah. From 300,000, they will give him exemption. How much is the exemption? Ideal? 10,000 per completed year. Assume he worked with Motorola for 20 years. How much you will get? 200 thousand exemption. Three hundred thousand minus two hundred thousand only hundred thousand taxable. Okay, understand? Volunteer. 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 You have in the book. There are three. One, two, three. The last one, page forty eight. Can you see page forty eight? Yeah. 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 
Compensation for loss of uh -huh. employment. Okay. The same you receive how much? Three hundred thousand, right? Ah, three hundred thousand. Minus exemption compensation for loss of. Minus exemption, how many years? 20 years. How much is the exemption? 10,000. So you get 200. So only 100,000 is a taxable income. Understand? Yes. Boleh? Dengan ini kita dah habis topik. Mana ada topik habis? For the last one, yeah? Allowable expenses. Please look at page 50. I want you to look at the format given. We have done 31 A, B, C, D, and E. Okay? The last subtopic will be allowable expenses. If you see, there are few expenses that allow for deduction. Okay? I think you can read that by yourself. Yes. And we will discuss that tomorrow. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow.